Kasa, I'm going to see this Kasa. I'm going to see this Kasa. Oh my God. See white Kasa. Madam, this is a Korean food. So, I went to buy yam, so I looked behind the woman, I saw fresh cassava leaf. And because you guys have said you wanted me to do a video of how people are eating cassava leaf, how can people eat cassava leaf? You kept asking these questions and asked that I do a video of how to process a bee make cassava leaf for eating. So, I decided to harvest, you know, what we eat is the soft area, you can see from the first clip, um and everything that is going on here we will now cut it like this and i want you to watch how we do it so then when it's your time you can try it out so people were trying to say what kind of food is that, that? it's not nice it's not, please don't condemn people's food until you try it my kids tasted this and they were like, hey, in fact, I practically had to pursue them out of the kitchen. In fact, at some point, I took the cassava leaf that is ready to buy us by study. That was how serious it was. So we're done cutting it here. And then we went on to do justice to the vegetables. So watch it to the end so that you will learn and try your own. Please don't use your non-stick. If you want to cook something that is traditional, use normal tower pots. Like these pots are very, these pots are like 13 years old. Mm -hmm. So don't use your non-stick. Oh. It's not like it's going to just don't use non-stick. It's not going to give you the village vibe. So... The water was already boiled to a very good consistency and I added salt and then I did it like village, you know, and I poured in my own, you know, already chopped or let's say I didn't chop the leaf, I cut it. Mm, but chopping should have been better mm. English, but you know, it's traditional food. Mm -hmm. You can see after that, I put it into the water. I use a wooden spoon to stir it. So stirring this, I covered it. Mm. But just watch it so that you can learn and you know. All the people that are telling me do a video, do a video. I hope you are watching. You know, I hope you are here. Cassava leaf can never be, you know, underrated for any reason. Can never be underrated though, for any reason. So I love to use green peppers mixed with red, so that to give that. You know traditional taste hmm. so the the cassava leaf was already boiling like i tell people always boil and ensure that it's still soft it will still look maintaining its green color so you bring it out and check to be sure that it's very soft so that's why so i didn't use blender i decided to pound so that it will give me that traditional village you know taste this is pounding ready mm -hmm. we move on to the next process i didn't show you how i was chopping my onions so but it's okay but you know like this food has four ingredients palm oil salt palm oil salt onions and pepper that's just all so this time that things are like this in nigeria people are going to really really eat a lot of these vegetables in my locality we love it like that so now it was already very soft so i put it in a a, I put it inside this basket to drain for the water to drain out and then I began to touch it and it was already very very soft you can see it's soft really soft and after that I decided to add the next cold water as you can see here it's like cold water i can see how i'm comfortably putting my hands into it to give you that feel you see there yes so man if i when i was telling my sister on phone that on the phone that i made cassava leave she was telling me i should not tell her i should not tell her because in my place we practically you know adore should i say this what this cassava leave is one thing that if you give someone who's from my community you've done enough like because I didn't even know it to be this plenty. So we had like two squeeze and half, which was looking plenty like, hey my God. 
as you all know now, everything was ready to start giving it the perfect, you know. So I took you guys along. I put the pan, the pot, another pot on fire. Put one corporate traditional palm oil from the village. And then I allowed it to, you know, be hot for a while. Then I added my onions. Yes. I don't like my palm oil frying. So once it's very hot, I put my onions. If some people want you to do shrung, although the shrung has its own taste. But I didn't allow it to over fry. So I just added my onions and allowed it to fry a bit and then to build flavors. And then I used my wooden spoon to stir. I have to stir in it. <laughs> Added a little salt and stirred for a bit. This vegetable lamb is sweet. It's giving what it should be giving. And then I started adding by cassava leaf. Ah, I know that a lot of people from my village, my cousins, my nephews, my nieces, who are going to watch this, they're going to look at me with corner. I even called my mom and told her. My mom now said, eh, that I should eat. That she too, she's eating cassava akara. And I'm not seeing it to eat in Abuja. I thought I'm going to do look for cassava akara. After cassava akara in the village is now 100 naira for one. She said, my uncle now said, but are you seeing it in Abuja? You can't find it now. So I added my pepper. And then I stirred it to a very good consistency. Some people like their own to have oil. Some don't like it to have plenty. Or you can actually use this to eat boiled corn, roasted corn, yam, boiled yam and um eba some people use it to take to eat eba so i put a peel the yam placed added salt placed it on fire for it to cook and guess what happened it started boiling and the next few minutes it was ready even though yam now is very expensive but were able to pull this hobby bot yam so he was all that paid of course so your girl decided to boil yam and then we did justice to this also doesn't like using palm oil to eat yam so me i love it oh my god can you see that can you can you can you can you in fact even people who are in the village right now are jealous and swa and swallowing saliva salivating over this food check this Check this, check this, check this out now. Oh boy. Oh my God. Please rate me, rate me on the comment section. Rate me on the comment section. Rate me on the comment section. Rate me, guys. My village boy, I gather here. Rate me, rate me, rate me.